Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay. So this question belongs to GATE CSC 2019. The given question is consider the following snapshot, snapshot of a system running n concurrent processes. Okay. So P process I is holding XI instance of a resource R where 1 is less than i is less than n. Okay. Assume that all instances of r are in use. Okay. In use. Okay. So, furtherly, all i, process i, can place a request for at most y i additional instances of r while holding x t. Okay. Instances. It already has. Okay. So, it already has of the n processes, there are exactly two processes, P and Q, such that Yp is equal to Yq equal to 0. Which of the following conditions guarantees that no process apart from P and Q can complete execution? Okay. So now what exactly the question is saying guys. So please concentrate now. So I understood some basic components of the question. So now let us try to draw some diagrams so that we can understand it. So they are saying consider the, the following snapshot. So they basically they did not give the diagram or any kind of representation. But they are just saying us to draw the diagram from the information. Okay. So process i holds xi instances of a resource r. Okay. So they are saying we are having some processes guys. So P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and so on up to Pn. Uh, okay. So they are saying each of these process is holding some instances. Okay. So if you recall if it is being hold so they will get the arrow towards themselves right. Okay. So let us write it xi only so why to confuse more. Okay. Yes. So let us assume XI is a particular resource and it is with everyone. Okay. So assume that all instances of R are currently in use. So basically assume that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are only 6 resources of R or N resources of R and all are being used. Okay. Further for all I processes, I can place a request of at most YI additional guys. So this is requesting for YI items. 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 This is also requesting for YI items. Okay. Yes. So this YI and XI all are numbers only guys. For easy understanding, I'm just representing with that terminology only which he is using. Okay. Yes. Instructions of R while holding XI. Okay. So they are going to hold this and request for the other thing. Okay. Yes. So now what they are saying is uh, among these all n processes, uh, there are two processes. So for easy understanding, let us assume it as a 3 and let us assume it as a 5. They are saying uh, they request resources are 0. Means there is no request for them. That's what they are saying, right? Yes. Okay. So now what they are saying is uh, which one of the following condition guarantees that no other process uh, no other process apart from P and Q can complete its execution. So what do they mean by this guys? So the first thing that you should understand is when a particular process is not requesting for anything. Means these two guys no need anything. They are, they are having everything ready. Means they can execute right. So they will execute their work or they will execute their particular thing. And they are going to release their resources right. Yes. So for easy understanding let us name this as a. QP and let us name this as a XQ. Okay, XP and XQ are the number of resources which they are having. So indirectly XP plus XQ number of resources are available, right? Now, right? Once these two are done its execution, right? Yes. So now what they are saying is uh, they are saying that there is some condition in this uh, which states that no other process so P1, P2, P4, Pn should not execute even after releasing this guys. So what will be the case? So as we want uh, no execution what will be the thing guys? Uh, so assume that here we got a total of 10 resources at the end. 
so if i want to make sure that none of these will execute so these requirement should be greater than or equal to 11 right so at that time my 10 resources will not be enough to start right yes so that is what they are asking from the question from the options so if you observe two options are too funny guys so i don't know why but i am feeling they are really funny the thing is they are not combining this p and q guys they are checking the minimum among them and they are comparing with the minimum in these things or maximum in them things so those things are absolutely wrong right yes so basically if you want to compare you are going to add them right yes so once you add them what you will do guys so once you add them among these all who is a minimum you will select him and once you selected him you will compare whether these two are less or equal if they are less than you are going to pass it if not you are going to fail it right yes so now let us assume so this value we got it is a 10 is less than i told it is less uh, greater than or equal to 11 right so let us assume 11 only so minimum of yk so k such that k is in between 1 and n okay and k is not equal to p and k is not equal to q so assume that we got 11 here so 10 is a less than 11 so this is a true right yes so what is the what is the thing here guys so it is a true means that condition will not be executed so it is guaranteely we are saying it cannot be executed right yes so a should be the most probable correct answer got it yes so let us check option d also so it is saying 10 is a less than the maximum of this thing so this statement might be true because if there is a some requirement like 110 so at that time this statement might be true but is that a proper thing guys so do we check this thing no right we always want to check with minimum because if you check with maximum there could be some process with only one request so at that time a 10 will be less than one if it is minimum right yes so at that time our conditions might fail so that is the reason why you always check with the minimum only guys got it yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea at least right yes it's a quite interesting question guys if you are still having a doubt please watch the video again guys okay it will i have explained according to my understanding the best as much as possible so i think everyone got some at least some basic idea right yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you